Good day, this is Chief, and we're, I started the Star Trek loot crates, but way back in November, they sent me a loot anime, but on the back of it, it says one-time one Star Trek promo. Haven't opened this yet on a video yet, but we got this yesterday in the mail, and it's the Galileo. It's the Galileo shuttle that they did not get until season two because they didn't have the funds to make a mock-up of it. Uh, so let's look inside the promo packet first. Hmm, black wrapping paper. Uh, something that we have gotten before, excuse me, is a uh, live long and prosperous car doily air freshener. I think I had one of those before. But we get the loop pin, even though it says July 2016 futuristic. So looks like this welcome packet is repeating several items that we have gotten in previous loot crates but this is the Star Trek welcome packet so we've got the live long and prosperous we've got the next generation exclusive I guess I should show that and oh it's the uh, the plaque for the uh, USS Enterprise for Captain Picard, though. This is the 1907 or 1701 Delta. So this is for Captain Picard and crew. I think we got the one for Captain Kirk previously. So wall plaque, and we got a pair of Star Trek socks. old Enterprise shape that you always saw in the end of the series or the beginning of the series and the Star Trek Next Generation comic I believe I already got a copy of this too so like I said this welcome packet seems to be a repeat of several items that we've gotten before now we'll open up the USS Enterprise Galileo NCC 1701-7. A lot of people kept asking, what does NCC 1701 stand for? And nobody could answer it. Not even uh, Gene Rottenberry could answer that question. And they finally got to one of the uh, designers of the Star Trek, and he said, yeah, that's the registration of my plane. He was a pilot. So that was the registration number of his plane little known trivial fact there and we've got the Star Trek Next Generation the NCC 1701 Delta so we got Captain Picard's design Enterprise that's nice I'm a Captain Picard fan I remember watching the original series and got to the point even me as a young preteen was wondering who is Captain Kirk going to hook up with this weekend, or this week, as we watch the original series? Okay. Ooh. We got Locutus. Captain Picard as a board, Locutus. One of the few, probably free thinkers, so to speak, with the board, because he did, in the uh, two-part episode, he did kind of sort of have a mind of his own, even though he was in cahoots with the Borg and the Queen herself. And then we've got the mission card for 001 Star Trek mission crate. Uh, we got the Locutus, a Borg mini master. We got the another model in here, looks like. Another start or the another enterprise. And this is the Delta model again. So this box or the first loot crate, even though we've got the original Star Trek series on the loot crate box, we've got mostly the next generation as far as what's inside the box. And 
it's even got a plaque to stand on. Do that later. That's a nice model. Resistance is futile. <laughs> Sticker. Yep, it's blowing in the breeze. I have my fan going. I thought the boards were a rather intriguing enemy. Star Trek Online. So if anybody wants to do this, you can focus in on the key sun and you and whoever wants to do that you've got the key I don't do the online stuff so there's a freebie for somebody got it focus on okay so one of you lucky individuals out there and it says it's a powerful magnet class and this is the Starfleet division badge and this is the command it says so that is Next generation also, I assume. Well, it says, no, it's Discovery. So it's the new series. It's the new series badge. Hmm. So we got something from the new series. I haven't watched it. I don't watch TV. So that is it. Let's get back to the mission card. Did I lose it? Did I put it somewhere? Mission card is, oh, there it is. So, mission card, make sure we got everything. We got the Locutus of Borg. Hmm. I don't know if I'd want to be assimilated or not. And then we've got the Delta Enterprise. We got the, oh, it's the Borg Assimilation T. That's what it's called. This is the Borg Assimilation T. So that's the cube. With the Enterprise in front of it. And then we've got the Resistance is Futile sticker. And there were division badges for four sections. The Command, Science, Operations, or Medical, and I got the Command badge. So there are four different badges that you could receive. And that is it for the first Star Trek Loot Crate. I am quite surprised that we did get a lot of the next generation stuff, considering, like I said, we got the Galileo outside, so I assumed that this one was going to be mostly the original TV series. I will continue with the Loot Crate. I'll give it six months if they don't really expand over all the uh, series, I will probably drop it because I am a fan of next generation. I liked Voyager a lot. I started watching Deep Space Nine, but when it turned into a Cisco being like a town mayor, town marshal, even though he had Odo as his security, I mean, then the bleed over of when the next generation stopped and you had uh, Chief O'Brien and Worf show up, it was like, yeah, this is going to be a spillover for the people no longer working on the next generation. So I kind of fell out of it. Someone told me, oh, I left too soon because I missed all the wars, all the big space battles and everything else. And I said, well, oh, well, I, I guess I left too soon. So uh, original series, like I said, I watched it when it first runs. And it got to the point, me being a preteen, realizing that, you know, Captain Kirk was a womanizer. What can you say? Uh, see you in two months with the next... Don't know if we're going to continue with the Galileo box. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a board cube next time. Who knows? This is Chief. Live long and prosperous. Signing off.